All right, on assignment one, uh, problem 15, uh, you're talking about cards. In this particular set of cards, you only have ace through 10. You don't have any of the face cards. Um, so it is going to be different than the problem that I solve. I'm going to use a standard deck of cards, which is uh, 52 cards, where you have ace through 10, and then you have a king, jack, and a queen. Okay, so that's 13 denominations instead of just 10 denominations like is in, in your actual question. However, there are still four suits. That's a heart, a diamond, a club, and a spade. So here, if I have four times 13, then I have 52 cards. And I am going to be saying that I'm selecting five cards from the 52, whereas here you are only selecting four cards out of this deck of 40. So I am selecting five cards out of 52. This question is talking about selecting four cards out of a deck of 40. So there are significant differences between uh, my video and what you're actually solving in your own problem. So do not put the answers that I have into the answers for this question. You will have to take the ideas and reapply them. Also, I will not be going through all of the te techniques of how to solve this. Uh, if you would like to know how to particularly solve any term, you may have to go back and watch videos from problems one, uh, so from problems 11, problem 12, problem 13, or problem 14, okay? So here, um, if you don't know how to do any of the particular things that I'm talking about, make sure that you check out the other videos that are in this assignment as well. Okay, so my task here is to choose five cards from a deck of 52 and then to uh, understand how to get at what they were talking about in this question. So here, um, if you want the probability of three of a kind. Now, if you talk to a poker player, uh, you realize there are two different ways to get a three of a kind. One is to have three cards that are the same, and then two cards that are different from the cards that are the same, as well as different from the other single card. Or there's also something called a full house, which is three cards that are the same, and then the remaining two cards are the same as each other, but not the same as the triple. Okay, so I am going to find both of these, and then I'm going to add them together so I can get, here's just a triple, here is a different kind of triple. So this particular triple is called a full house. Okay, so how do you calculate the probability of a full house? Okay, so here I have 13 denominations, and one of the blocks has to match each other, uh, and there has to be three of them. So here I've got one triple, and then I've got one double, and then, of course, I've got zero singles. So here I have a triple and a double, and then uh, the bottom of this multinomial coefficient must add to be the 13. So I've got one triple, one double. That's only two. So 2 plus 11 will act equal to 13. Okay, so that will get me... Um, here just having three A's and three B's. The only question now is uh, we realize that that you could have uh, this in different suits. So um, if you're going to have this uh, in uh, whatever denomination, you realize that you know there are four aces or four twos or four threes. There's four of every single denomination. So out of whatever denomination was chosen, okay, so that's what I did here. I chose the denomination, but out of that denomination, there are, in fact, four different options that it could have been, and I only need three of those cards. And then out of whatever denomination was chosen to be the double, I need two of those cards. So it's going to be here, uh, this term multiplied by this term multiplied by this term. This is going to be the number of ways that you can get a full house. To make it a probability, then, you have to divide it by 52, choose 5. Okay, so here, this part of the fraction without this part is just going to be the probability of a full house. If you want here a triple and two singles, Again, you can see out of the 13 denominations, you need one of the denominations to be selected to be your triple group. There are no doubles like there were in the full house, but there are two singles that need to be selected. So I've got one triple for denomination being selected and two separate singles for denomination. And then, of course, this needs to add to get to 13. So one plus two plus 10. 
then again here, once I've actually chosen the denomination, I realize that there are four possible options for any denomination, and I would need three out of the four for this triple. And here, out of the four possibles for B, I can choose any one of them, and any and out of the four possibles for C, I can choose any one of them. So this part, uh, this is the numerator. This would be the number of ways that you could get one triple and two singles. To make it a probability, it would be this. Uh, divided by 52, choose 5. If I want the probability of either of these happening, I can add them together and then divide by 52, choose 5. Okay, so what about something like a flush? What a flush means is all of the five cards are from the same suit. So here I'm not caring about the denomination, like it doesn't have to be all two, twos, but they all have to be from hearts or they all have to be from diamonds or something like that. So here I am going to start by saying there are four suits. I'm going to choose one of them to be the suit that is the matching suit. And I guess uh, by definition, then I am not choosing three of them. Uh, so here, four choose one or four choose three would be the same thing as the multi uh the multinomial way of saying four one with three uh, then once i have chosen the suit arbitrarily then each suit has 13 uh, numbers or denominations and i would need five of them from the 13 so again either 13 choose five or 13 choose 8, or uh, multinomial 13, 5, and 8. And then, of course, out of 52, choose 5. What if you would like uh, uh, two of a kind? Okay, so here, if I'm choosing five uh, cards, um, here, getting one pair would be an A, an A, so here, two matching, and then three singles. Or here, another way, uh, this would be two pair, would be getting... Uh, two that match each other, two more that match each other, but not the same as the first match, and then a single. But I'm not going to do a double with a triple because that's actually a triple, not a pair. Okay, so that would be a full house. So here I can do one pair, and then I will do two pairs uh, for any sort of uh, a two of a kind idea. So again, I've got 13 denominations to choose from. One of them must be my double group. And then here in this case, I've got three singles. So that would be a one double, three singles. And then to add to get to 13, I would need nine. Out of the, um, uh, out of the suit that's going to be my, uh, my double, there are four cards and I need two of them. And then for the three uh, that I am going to have singles, each of them have four options and I need to choose one of them. Okay, so that would be one pair. To get two pairs, here I have 13 denominations, two of which are going to be doubles, and then one is going to be a single, and then the rest to add up to 13. So two plus one plus 10 will equal 13. And here I've got four cards, uh, choose two of them to be that particular double. Out of four cards, choose two of them to be that double. And out of four cards, choose one of them to be that single. Here is one pair, here is two sets of pairs, and then here out of 52, choose five. Uh, finally then, uh, let's talk about if you were going to get two cards that were aces and two cards were tens. Specifically in this case, realize that there are no cards that are both an ace and a 10. So these are mutually exclusive. So I can just break this down into the number of aces that there are is four and the number of tens that there are is four. So here, if I need two aces out of those four, choose two of them. And if I need three tens out of those four, choose three of them to simply get the probability of uh, two aces and three tens. When I go to say, what about having two aces and three hearts? Realize that there actually is an ace of hearts, which is different then these are not mutually exclusive. So it's different than saying aces and tens because aces and tens, uh, there is no card that has both of those features. However, there is one card that does have an ace as well as a heart on it. So I have, I have separated the deck into uh, cards that are both ace and heart. There's only one of them. Aces that are not hearts. So here there are three aces that are not hearts because one ace is a heart. So together there are four aces. Then cards that are hearts, but are not aces. There are 13 cards that are hearts, 
but here I'm not including the ace. So there is only 12 cards that are hearts, but not an ace. And then for the rest of the deck, cards that are not ace and cards that are not hearts, there must be 36 cards that are neither ace nor heart. Okay, so if I'm going to get two aces and three hearts, if I don't get the ace of hearts, then out of the three cards that are aces but not hearts, I need two of them to get my two aces. And out of the 12 cards that are not aces but are hearts, I would need three of them to get my three hearts. Out of the 36 cards that are not ace and not heart, I would need to have zero of them because I've already selected my five cards here. So this is one way to get two aces and three hearts. However, if you do happen to get the ace of hearts, so out of that one card, let's say you actually got it, then out of the cards that are aces but not hearts, I only need one because I've already gotten here with these two together, two cards that are aces. And if then I get um, uh, a not ace and a heart, I need to have here, I've already got one heart here. This is the ace of hearts. So here, then I would have to get a non ace and a heart. I need to get two of them. So this two with this ace of hearts is going to be three hearts. Then I can actually get a card that happens to be um, a non ace and a non heart because I've already fulfilled in these four cards uh, the idea of getting two aces and three hearts. So here I, I, I can get a card that is neither an ace nor a heart. And those are the two ways that you can get two aces and three hearts. Then you can divide that by 52, choose five. Good luck.